welcome to Habitats, Habitats and Communities. Well, what is a habitat? A habitat is the home of a plant, animal, or any other organism. Now, what is a community? A community is a group of creatures living in the same place or sharing a common characteristic. And by characteristic, we mean how they behave and what they eat, for example. So why would an animal choose to live in a specific habitat? Every living organism depends on others in their community to survive. Everyone plays a specific role in their habitat. There are three main types of living things. Producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers like plants use nutrients from the ground and sunlight and the sun's light to make food for themselves. Consumers are animals that eat these producers. And decomposers are worms and other small organisms like fungi that cause the dead plants and animals to rot and decay. Now, consumers can be divided into three main categories. Herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are animals that eat only plants, carnivores are animals that eat only other animals or meat, and omnivores are animals that eat meat and plants. So, rabbits are herbivores, lions are carnivores, and bears are omnivores? Yeah, exactly, and even us humans can be seen as omnivores because we eat both plants and animals. And plants can be seen as producers. Right, because plants use a process called photosynthesis in order to create energy from sunlight. Cool! All of these creatures are part of a community and they work together to create a balance in this community. Now, all organisms are related to each other in these communities through the food they eat. This can be seen in the food chain. A food chain shows how organisms are related in the habitat. So for example, in this food chain, the grasshoppers consume the plants, the mice eat the grasshoppers, then the snakes eat the mice, and finally the eagles are the consumers that eat the snakes. So the producers make their own food, and these consumers come and consume the producers, and after that they'll eat each other one by one to create a food chain. You can see how because organisms work together to create a healthy community. Now you may be wondering, where do humans fit into this food chain or food web? Well, usually humans are, the t are at the top of most food chains because we're able to hunt and eat other consumers. Not only are we part of the food chain, we're also part of the community. Now, humans are always going to be a part of the food chain and the community. However, now, they're actually becoming even more involved in the environment around them. We humans have been destroying animal habitats by cutting down trees and forests to make room for our own homes. This is something we need to stop because it is killing these animals and plants and damaging their habitats. As you already know, all organisms are related to each other. And if us humans were to destroy the habitat of animals, we would be destroying our food source. We could be the reason why species go extinct. There are so many negative consequences to us humans getting too involved in animal habitats. So, so far, we've learned that habitats are made up of producers, which are plants, and consumers, which are animals. So, plant-eating consumers are called herbivores, meat-eating consumers are called carnivores, and both plant and meat-eating consumers are called omnivores. All of them are connected through food chains, and these food chains create a community. Humans are also a part of this community, and while we do have to provide for ourselves, we also need to respect the habitats of animals living in the environment. So stay tuned for our exciting presentation, brought to you by Angela, Celine, Stephen, and me, Anish.